Fourier was a large 27,000 person trial designed to test the clinical efficacy of evolocumab. We enrolled a high risk patient who had a history of heart attack, history of stroke, or blockages in the arteries supplying their lower limbs. Uh, these were patients who were on statin therapy, in general high intensity statin therapy, uh, and then their entry LDL cholesterol on average was around 92 milligrams per deciliter, and then they were randomized to receive either evolocumab or matching placebo, and we followed them for between two and three years. The key finding was that evolocumab reduced the risk of the primary endpoint of broad composite of cardiovascular events by 15 percent and it reduced the even harder key secondary endpoint that was heart attack, stroke, or cardiovascular death by an even greater amount by 20 percent. The results were consistent in all the subgroups we studied including in patients who came in with low levels of LDL cholesterol even in the low to mid 70s and the benefit tends to grow with time we actually saw a 25% risk reduction beyond the first year. And if you look just at fatal or non-fatal heart attacks and strokes, a 33% reduction beyond the first year. We didn't see any concerning safety signals. Overall, the rates of adverse events were quite similar. Uh, things we worry about from the diabetes, or rather from the statin field in terms of muscle aches, uh, diabetes, neurocognitive, uh, we didn't see any important differences between them. The drug was well tolerated. Patients uh, didn't develop any neutral neutralizing antibodies to the drug, so all that was very good news. When we looked at the rate of cardiovascular outcomes in patients on the basis of their achieved LDL cholesterol, there's a beautiful linear relationship going all the way down to about 22 milligrams per deciliter. They saw exactly the same thing in the IVIS study, where the plaque regression would grow and grow if you got the LDL cholesterol down to the 20s. So I think that should be our new target for patients. We've seen both the imaging benefit and now the clinical benefit.